Ever pondered how industries maintain process control? Imagine a bustling factory with countless machines humming in harmony, each performing its task with perfect precision. The secret to this seamless operation lies in an unassuming hero of industrial automation, the PID controller. PID stands for Proportional, Integral, and Derivative, three components that form the basis of this controller's operation. Each controller's task is to ensure the system's output matches the desired set point, like a thermostat keeping a room at the ideal temperature. The proportional component is represented by the letter P in the PID equation. It is calculated by multiplying the error by a constant known as the proportional gain, KP. The proportional gain determines how aggressively the controller responds to changes in the error. A higher value of KP results in a more aggressive response, while a lower value results in a more conservative response. The proportional component provides an immediate response to changes in the error. It is responsible for bringing the system closer to the set point. However, it does not take into account the system's past behavior or future trends. This can lead to overshooting or oscillations around the set point. To illustrate the proportional component, let's consider a simple example. Imagine you are driving a car and trying to maintain a constant speed. The speedometer indicates that you are currently going 60 miles per hour, but the desired speed is 50 miles per hour. The error in this case is 10 miles per hour. The proportional component would react to this error by adjusting the throttle. If the proportional gain is set to a high value, the controller would respond aggressively and quickly reduce the speed. On the other hand, if the proportional gain is set to a low value, the controller would respond more slowly and gradually reduce the speed. In summary, the proportional component of the PID controller provides an immediate response to changes in the error. It is responsible for bringing the system closer to the set point. However, it does not consider the system's past behavior or future trends, which can lead to overshooting or oscillations. Next comes the integral component. This part of the PID controller focuses on past errors, integrating them over time. It corrects sustained systematic errors that the proportional component may overlook. The integral component is like a wise elder, using the lessons of the past to guide present actions. Finally, the derivative component comes into play. This part anticipates future errors based on the current rate of error change. It provides a damping effect, preventing the system from overshooting its set point. Picture the derivative component as a fortune teller, predicting and preparing for what lies ahead. Together, these three components form the PID controller, a crucial tool in maintaining process control in industries. The proportional component reacts to present errors, the integral component corrects for past errors, and the derivative component anticipates future errors. It's a delicate balancing act that keeps our modern industries running smoothly and efficiently. In summary, the PID controller is a powerful tool that underpins modern industrial automation. Its three components, proportional, integral, and derivative, work in harmony to maintain process control, reacting to current errors, correcting past mistakes, and anticipating future issues. Whether it's keeping a room at the perfect temperature or ensuring a machine operates at peak efficiency, the PID controller is an unsung hero of the industrial world. So, the next time you marvel at the precision and efficiency of a modern factory, remember the humble PID controller, tirelessly working behind the scenes to maintain the perfect balance.